why I became unforgiving in game reviews while rating video games. In video comments that I read a lot, now I can't find time to respond to them all, but make sure I read them a lot. I keep seeing that I'm brutal in my reviews, that I trash the games without reason, that I don't give scores that are supposed to be on the game, and how media is rating the games. For example, if, if media gave a game like God of War 10 out of 10 on my channel, it's 8, 9 out of 10. And I'm receiving a lot of advice how I should chill out from games. So those are some of the comments that I've been seeing. Okay, and during my morning coffee, I decided to share my opinion about everything and explain you how things stand and what I'm actually doing. Let's go. So, the first things first, why? Am I unforgiving towards most of the video games? First reason is, I don't know how many of you are aware, but I'm 37 years old. I play video games since the early 90s. And no matter what you think about, I've played it. You think about Sea Dogs from 70s, I played it. I played games on Amiga, Commodore, old Nintendos, Segas, PC 186 all the way to this 2023 and everything that came out along the way. In other words, I played a lot of video games in my life. A lot. It's not only that I played a lot of video games in my life, I also finished almost all the video games that I played in my life. And it's not only that I almost finished all the games that I played in my life, I also finished almost all of them, so 99.99% on the hardest difficulty available. So that's, in short, why I'm unforgiving about video games in my reviews. I've seen them all. When I give a score and I say the game is, for example, 7 out of 10, that will be probably something like 9 or 10 out of 10 in most of the media reviews. So my 7 out of 10 is actually a very high score for a game. I just don't throw numbers like others do. I like to have an ideal that, for example, we take action RPGs and we say what's closest to 10 out of 10. The closest 10 out of 10 action RPG is Diablo 1, for example. Why? It brought atmosphere, innovation, best voice acting. It was something amazing and something that we've seen for the very first time back in 96. And that's why that game developed an entire action RPG genre, what we now call Diablo Likes. And that's the starting point for 10 out of 10 old school. New school would be, for example, Pair of Exile, a 10, close to 10 out of 10 action RPG. And now I take a measure out of every next released action RPG or already released action RPG like Grim Dawn or Diablo 4, or Wolsen, and I put a measure, and I measure them against Pair of Exile and Diablo 1. Media doesn't do that, but I do. And when I say that Diablo 4 is a mediocre game in its vanilla state, and that it's a very bad game in its season 1, that's what I mean. Very bad. Vanilla, mediocre, 4.8 out of 10, Season 1, 4, 3 to 4 out of 10, and it's gonna get worse and worse, seems like, because Blizzard, for example, Blizzard is dead. Why well, I'm also unforgiving, because that's those AAA companies, they only care about profit. CEOs, people that actually hold most of the, let's say, the biggest percentage of all of those AAA companies, never played a single video game in their life, and they own all of those corpus. So they demand on their servants to put a pressure on developers and release the game in order to earn. So low input, big output. Most of the game development money goes to the advertising and microtransactions have to be included because those CEOs, they don't even know what is, for example, Diablo, or I don't know what, God of War, or no matter what, like Mass Effect, no matter what AAA title they butchered, 
they don't even know what it is. They just got their demands and then they force their servants, servants force developers and that goes in circle. Now, why I don't respect devs? You know, like people are saying, don't blame the day of devs. Don't ever blame the devs, they do what they're told. Blame the publishers. Really? Don't blame the devs. Why you do something that you don't like doing for money? What are you then? Or you sold yourself out. Don't blame the devs. Quit your job, man. Quit your job. Go to the indie industry. Develop a game like you want to. No, those devs, they wanna be there. Okay? They wanna be in a AAA corporation. They wanna be there wearing their pink hats and holding hands. They wanna be there. Alright? That's why I also blame the devs for bad video games. They're all the same. From the one that holds the company, from publishers, all the way down to developers. They're all the same. They never played a single video game in their life. They don't know anything about the history of gaming. They only know how to craft shop, microtransactions, and to make dumb games for even dumber people. And yes, I do blame devs. Because I've seen a lot of comments my channel that it's not the devs fault it is motherfucker trust me it is quit your job it's simple as that it's like you're telling an assassin it's not his fault but the one who ordered the kill quit your job don't kill people it's that simple can you do that of course not you like the money aka again you're a whore a money whore so so much from don't blame the devs and that's why i'm unforgiving okay i'll Give praises to the AAA title that deserves praises, but very few do. Also, why I'm unforgiving in my reviews is the current prices. I know, I get it, it's inflation, but AA titles and indie titles cannot cost as much as AAAs. At least that was always the case till the last few years. Now AAA titles should cost like indie games and indie games should cost like AAA titles because that's the measure of quality. Even though it sounds funny, AAA titles are devolving in quality drastically because they, they, those AAA titles, I swear to God, every game that I play, I see very annoying and irritating things. You know what lives matter in video games then this entire woke shithead campaign and sexuality. I would say overexpressed sexuality in video games. Video games should be about gameplay. That's why they're called video games. Gameplay. And they do everything, man. It's brainwashing agenda. It's like Hollywood movies. It's like Netflix. I cannot justify that shit. I get it. World is going to the abyss. I'm not blind, I can see that. I see that the, the youth is like, they take this fucking device, okay, and they're staring into the device. They don't even talk to each other, they just slide and glide and slide and glide through the freaking mobile, okay? They're living their virtual lives. They don't even understand it, they don't look like they are in pictures and videos. That's not life. And they're getting brainwashed by this. I don't even care, I put it on a table, turn it upside down. And I don't even look at it. This entire disease, I don't know how to call it corruption, okay? Something like root rot here in Remnant 2. This entire rot has spread on all gaming companies, especially triple A's. Their games are everything but games. They are an agenda, they are there to brainwash, they are there for sexual crap. But they're just not there for the gameplay. What's actually the most important thing. And I can't sit down and justify. If you're gonna remain blind. If you're gonna tell me how I'm harsh in my reviews. If you're gonna think I'm gonna be silent about this entire stupid ass agenda. In video games I won't. And I'll keep giving those low scores. Because I don't care. There will be people that's gonna heavily disagree with me. There will be people that's gonna agree with me. How I grew up. I grew up in a war. I grew up with bombs falling around my head. I grew up in a house where order was important. When my grandfather sits on a table and eats. First he eats. Then everyone else on the table can eat. There was an order in 
the house where I grew up. And I don't complain a single bit about it. I grew up by working. I grew up with a ball. I was kicking football, playing basketball. I had a great childhood, okay? I grew up with this. And considering how I've seen everything and how video games developed and so on, I can tell you now, video games were way much healthier back in 90s and 2000s. Healthier. And when I say healthier, I mean it. They were healthier for your brain. They were harder. There was no freaking stupid agenda inside those video games. Too many things are just forced, okay? Forced. Forced upon 90% of us that I can consider normal people, we are getting stumped by the 10% of idiots. And we're swallowing it. You know, when when you say a lie a hundred or a thousand times in a row, it can become a truth. So if someone, for example, tells you, and they know it, okay, those demonized Satan worshippers in AAA companies, they know it. When you say a lie a thousand times and you pay like a thousand YouTubers to say how, for example, Diablo 4 is a good game, 60% of people that watched will occasionally say how it's a good game at the end. Even though if they know it's not good, they're gonna say, hey, I had fun. That's usually the reasoning behind good reviews on, for example, Diablo 4. I had fun. Can you give a solid argument why? No. I had fun. Those are the responses. Why? Because they've seen lie 1,000 times. And those that hold those AAA companies, they know. They know the power of the media, the power of lie. And they're brainwashing everyone. It's one of the reasons why I refuse to watch movies. I haven't watched a movie for 5, if not even 10 years. Not a single movie. I refuse to watch. They, I refuse to get brainwashed. Now that corruption from movies and TV shows has spread into gaming, the thing that I actually like, the thing that I actually enjoy. So what am I gonna do now? I can only stop playing AAA titles and never rate them in my life, because basically they're not working. Transfer to AA's and Indies. And how long till corruption spreads into AA's and Indies too? I guess not that long, considering how world is going. So again, and I gotta say it again. I'm not unforgiving the word video games. I'm realistic. From my point of view, I'm realistic. That's how I see things, at least. If you disagree, that's also fine. I got nothing against it. When I create my reviews, I always play the game, finish the game, think about it for a day or two, write the review down, and then release the review. I don't watch a single review from any other channel or God forbid from the media. I don't watch those Steam reviews from random people. I don't watch a thing. Just give my own uncorrupted opinion. Once you get opinion from someone else, no matter who it is, even if it's a good opinion, you get corrupted. Your perspective changes. And I don't allow my perspective to change. I only see the game with my eyes and my ears. I don't listen and I don't watch. And that's why my reviews are like they are. What you also need to pay attention to are other channels as well. I know as a fact, because I know a few of them and I know what they do. I, I don't wish to put up names and so on. But I was speaking with them and they were telling me like, Man, why don't you release more reviews? You're gonna boost the channel even further. I'm like, I can't. I can't finish the games that fast. Well, who tells you that you need to finish? You don't even need to play. Just open two, three magazines, open two, three channels, combine that into one text, record, and release the video. Who's gonna say that you haven't played the game? Those are advices that I was given by a very, very successful YouTube creators. Those with 100, 200, to even a million subscribers. 100k, 200k, to a million subscribers. Those were the advices. Am I supposed to do that? No. I'm asking a lot of times, like also when I speak with my wife, what's the amount of money that can buy you a good sleep? It doesn't exist. There was like mm, a very good quote for from Mike Tyson what he said about money and rich people in general. Rich people are those that are cursed the most.
most, or better to say hated, by the God himself, because they got the biggest troubles. This is how God is testing them, what they're gonna do with their money, with pay, you know, if they're gonna get corrupted or not. And Mike Tyson was absolutely right, and I completely agree with it. The more you got, the bigger the test is. Will you fail or succeed? 99% fail. They end up just like this corrupted ravager here. They end up corrupted. Money corrupts. Money is in AAA titles. Money is in Hollywood movies. Money is in the brainwashing agenda. Money is corrupting everything it touches. And I refuse to get corrupted. I don't care. You know, I really, really don't care. I'll say my opinion, my own, without influence from any other vector around me. And that's how I create my video game reviews, as well as my other videos. Nothing is forced. I want to crack a joke just to record a video. I don't do it. If something funny happens while I play the game, I release it. I'm not forcing anything. When it happens, it happens. Just like this video. Again, and I'm saying it again, people can agree or disagree with me. I really don't care. What you people need to realize, the thing that I realized a long, long time ago, that you live in a very corrupted world. Extremely corrupted world. No matter the branch you take, is it movies, is it video gaming, is it... I don't know. The law, state you live in, it really doesn't matter. Your bills, everything is freaking corrupted. Okay, corrupted with greed. Greed is the main factor. If there is a demon of greed, he rules the earth right now. So, I refuse to defend developers because they do what they do because of money. I definitely refuse to defend AAA greedy corporations and I'll always give negative score when I think the game sucks. I don't care if the entire world likes the game, I'll say what I think. So those that commented, I was, I guess, I didn't have time and I was way too lazy to respond to a lot of people. I can only now copy and paste the link of this video for them to watch. They gave me, you can say, inspiration to record something like this, because I don't do it often. Truth to be told, I can speak on this topic for days but there's really no need if you know how to open your eyes you'll see the world for what it is including video games if you like living in a lie that's also fine it's your choice anyways as always thank you all for watching and i'll be seeing you on the next one Baldur's gate 3 is very very soon i hope it's gonna be solid 